Forest fighting out of the blue corner. Please welcome Terrence Blount. Terrence Blount. He comes into this match 2-0. Trains out a welcome mat, Casey. We saw another welcome mat athlete. Once again, same kind of thing here. You're, you're, you're going to notice their ground game. These guys are excellent on the ground. Got a lot of judo background out of there. I spoke with Terrence, and I love the man's attitude. He's like, you can't be giving away my secrets. I was like, well, Terrence, I got to hype the fight. What do you want me to say? He's like, well, just tell him I'm looking for that KO. I was like, all right. That'll get, it, that'll get everybody excited. Yeah, so, you know, even though he's traded out a welcome mat, Sounds like he's going for the power shots. He wants that KO tonight. So, you know, when it comes to getting that KO, Calvin, is that something you feel like you look for or you think uh, you let that develop? Uh, a lot of times it just, it's just a, it's the flow. You force it to happen or and it's fine? A lot of people do force it to happen, especially when they get uh, a knockout. I have, my whole career, I've, I've just kind of picked people apart, and I got a big knockout, and then we get stressed sometimes we can't, when things are not going our way, and we look for that big old knockout, and they'll always come. That is something that can be taught, though. You got the right coach behind you. Absolutely. That is something that can be taught. So the wind picks up, the crowd picks up, because welcoming out Nick Mech, local uh, hometown favorite, MCA trainer. He's been working his stand-up. Got into this by you know one of our favorites, Jacob Rawl. Rawls inspired him. He said, you know, you got a great wrestling background. He's been wrestling since he was four years old. You do well in this sport. He said, well, maybe I'll give it a go. So he's been training less than a year, and apparently he's already two and zero. Oh. Great him, wrestler, hard worker. I have seen him on Instagram. I have seen him in person. He works hard. When no one is around, he is working hard. He is running miles, six, seven miles. He is lifting weights, he is wrestling by himself. This man has no quit in him. Now this is gonna be an exciting fight. Yeah, I asked him about his stats. He said he was a two-time high school champ and a one-time All-American wrestling wrestler. So, you know, there's something about the mentality of wrestlers, but those guys come into it, they are no stranger to hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for three rounds. And the KCC Middle League Division is I'm excited already. Just by they did a little quick stare down. I'm excited. It's a battle of two undefeated fighters. And the O must go for one man. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a perfect amateur record of two wins and no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of Welcome Mat, an American top team, by way of Kansas City, Kansas, please welcome Terrence Blunt. No love lost. I like and that. Some mental battles going on before. In the red corner, this just watch it, it, just watch it right now in, in this corner. Just get me excited already. No he stands 5 feet 11, weighing 175 pounds. Fighting out of Midwest Combat Academy, by way of Topeka, Kansas. Please welcome Nick King Black Cat Miller. A lot of excitement for King Black Cat. Oh, the crowd is going crazy for this one. Terrence Blunt with the height advantage also looks like he's got the reach advantage, so we'll see if he can keep him at distance or Boxing versus if Mech's going to take him to the ground. Let's see. With the touch of the gloves, we're live. Oh, he comes in early to shoot for the takedown. Right for the takedown. Stuffs him, and they're almost out of the ring. Once again, Kevin, we may be on our toes here. Yes. I feel like they're going to hit us eventually, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm going to catch both of them. If they come out this way, they What I tell you, I didn't even flinch. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I told you. I knew they was coming eventually. Terrence Brunt wraps up the guillotine. He looks like Mech's trying to push down for top pressure. I think he's trying to keep him in the ring. The ref serving as a guidepost to keep these gentlemen fighting in the cage. Oh, he's cranking on that neck pretty hard, and he's free. Nick Mech immediately looks top position. A lot of activity from both guys. Oh, he's Nothing big has been landed, but a lot of wrestling is going on. Right there. The ref's going to bring it out to the center. Getting a little closer to comfort over here. I didn't know I was part of the action. 
This is the only sucky thing about fighting the boxer ring. That's right. We make the adjustments, so do the best you can with what you got. Neck clipping into the ground, it's got the back, putting a lot of heavy top pressure on. Nick what? was also trained by Chad Parks, the high school wrestling coach um, at Shawnee Heights High School, Legend who also used right to be my wrestling coach. He is a great coach, not only a great coach, he's a great man, and I think he has raised another champion. Yeah, Terrence Blunt doing a good job, though, of reversing, fighting the hands, getting the uh, a very back and searing up a guillotine. Yes, sir. A very. This is the second time he's been in that guillotine. Yeah, he keeps attacking it. I think Nick may have underestimated his, his wrestling and his jiu-jitsu. Not a lot of strikes, but quite a bit of wrestling going on. And they're almost out of the ring again. They're going to bring him back to the center. Ooh, with the head fighting. I like it. Terrence Blunt making it happen. I tell you what. Nick points to the ground and says, get down. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> but you can tell both these guys are game. They want it. Terrence Blunt fighting from the bottom again. Good hips by Nick. Not much activity going on. Oh, Nick Good starts hard working. shots as soon as I say that. Making it as uncomfortable as possible. Blunt fighting out. Man, he is tough. Terrence doing a good job not taking big shots. No, covering well, scrambling well. Covering down. Cover well. down. Yes. Nick's wrestling is just relentless at the moment. Oh, but we may see a round two. Wow, traps that. Good shot. That and we're going to round two. Looks like we got a little bad blood. <laughs> City before the fight. You, know, you would almost seem like it. There's definitely some now. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. <laughs> Both these men looking to fight. Not backing down. Both guys actually look good. That's right. Man. Good jujitsu from, from Terrence and uh, good wrestling from Nick. Good heavy shots. He just both guys seem just so strong. It's just a matter of who gets there first. That's right. So, you know, Terrence was really working for that guillotine. How much does that take the, the juice out of your arms? It takes a lot. That is one of those things that you shoot for when you just know you got it. But once again, Nick is a wrestler. He's been wrestling probably his whole life, and he, he's been in that position plenty of times. Yeah. Well, he's certainly looking fresh now, ready to go. He's, he's a hard worker. And Terrence stands up to meet the challenge. He is a hard worker. Terrence switches to southpaw. Oh, runs in with a rushing knee, but they couldn't have it. Once again, you and I almost involved in the action. Come flying out of the ring over here. A nice another double leg from Nick. Such heavy pressure on the back there. Trapping like his see. right leg. He's going to try to land some heavy, heavy shots in this position. I like what I see from Terrence, though. Uh -oh, Flatten him out. Down. Got the rear naked in. Got the rear naked in. He's fighting for the Stop wrist. him up with the left hand. Nick staying busy on the ground. Him Terrence being flattened out in that position, it could be over soon. Oh, and he gets up as soon as I say that. Yeah, he's going to have to move here. But... Oh, he taps, and he's got and it. he taps. <laughs> Nick, the King with Black the shot afterwards. Matt, makes it official with the rear naked show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think there was the actually gun. some real animosity from both of these fellas. <laughs> i tell you what, bro. Beautiful fight from both guys. A lot of passion. Nick pulls in there. it off with the rear naked choke. Great fight. Great fight from both guys. Oh man, super impressed. Both of these combatants looked really good. We saw a lot of great transactions. Yes, sir. A lot of great action. Looks like uh, Nick worked a little bit more ground and pound, and then ultimately was able to bring it home by flattening his opponent out and getting the rear naked choke. Wrestling is, to me, is probably the most important aspect of the MMA game. Um, more UFC champions come from a wrestling background. Yes, sir, they do. Sport, yes, sir, they do. Now, I'm not saying that can't be changed for all you no, karate, no. Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu fans. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my wins come from taking people down and choking them, so <laughs> I, I'm more on the wrestling, wrestling end myself. You know, you just recognize that wrestling mentality, but hats off to Terrence. I mean, neither one of them looked, looked like they were out. Until no, sir. It was, it was, uh, Nick just Ladies looked like he was more in shape for the second round. When I say I see this man works, he actually works. It's not fake. He's really working. 
Great job to Terrence. Great job to Nick. Beautiful job to the Black Cat. Beautiful work. That one's got to feel good as he moves to 3-0.